what's going on guys back with another video um this is not actually an unboxing i already unboxed this just because um i just wanted to get out of the box i didn't have time to make a video i was kind of excited about getting it so uh i uh went ahead and busted it out of the box anyway so what i have today is the zuni warrior from the movie the 1975 movie trilogy of terror um i've always loved that movie Really fun movie. Um, obviously, trilogy. You get three stories. The third story being my absolute favorite. I think it's most people's favorite um, from the movie. Being the one with the little killer uh, voodoo doll, or fetish doll, I guess. Yeah, it's not a voodoo doll. Um, anyway, so a few of these have been made before. I've seen a few custom ones. Um, another company did one some years back. And then, I don't, it may have been even a couple years ago that this one was came out, but... The Hollywood Collectibles Group came out with this guy. And this was molded directly from the only surviving original model from the movie. It's about 15 inches tall. It says all the information on there. Uh, when you get it, you get inside this box. When you open this box up, it'll have um, like a, a two-piece foam. You pull it apart, and then he's inside. A little groove form. So, Still got the foam and everything in here. I just didn't want to... It would have took too long for me to get them all out of here. Out of the box and everything anyway on camera. So here's the box. Hollywood Collectibles Group. Um, they're limited to 500. This is 171 of 500. Now, um, I, I don't collect statues, really. I would have liked if this would have been made of something different. But to get the effect, I'm really not sure what they could have used. Um, there's no way they could have done these out of real wood. It would have been... Uh, they would have been... It would have been too hard to do, I think, so. But... Here he is. So, the he has a base here, which again has 171 of 500 on the bottom of it. The base feels like it's a like metal, and he's made out of polystone. He's like a polystone statue. Uh, if you um. Well, his feet, and the bottom of his feet, have little little nails or spikes that are actually a part of him that come out. So he would not stand without the base. And the base has two little holes, and it's kind of a tight fit. You, you know, feed him into there, and then he will stand on the base like that. It's pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy piece. Um, he has a little chain, like in the movie, that would, in which you remove, and that's what frees him, makes him run around and kill people. The hair is really well done on it. And again, it, you know, it was, a mold was made from the, an original, uh, original one from the movie. The little cloth that he has, the little loincloth is real. It's real cloth. Yeah, this thing's just killer. Did a kick-ass job on it. And he also comes with his trusty spear. Um, the spear is just made out of wood. If... You could really, if I just wanted to, I could snap this. It would break pretty easily. It's a really lightweight little wooden stick with uh, feathers. And then I believe the the spear tip is actually made out of plastic. And then again, he's polystone, so he doesn't move. So his, But his hand is already in like a, this hand right here, is already in like a gripping position. So you just rest the spear in that right there. And there's another little hole, it's hard to see, on the bottom of the base by his foot where the bottom of the spear will rest. So when you put it in his hand so it doesn't just fall out, it'll fit right there in that. And it'll, I mean, it stays, it stays all right. If you shake him around, it'll fall back out. But for the most part, it stays in his hand. So yeah, so there it is. Pretty cool. Glad I snagged one of these guys. Just a really cool little guy. Um, they also made a part two to this movie. And you get, you know, three stories. I really like the second one. Uh, the first two stories are great. But the third story, again, you get this guy again. And um, it kind of picks up where the where the 1975 movie left off. So the second one's really cool, too. Oops. Yeah, see, there goes a the spear. So it just kind of sits there. But again, glad to have this. Um, again, Hollywood Collectibles Group. They're the ones that uh, make this guy. If you cut it, he'll come in this box and obviously in a shipper as well. Um, I believe they still have some for sale. I don't think they're all sold out. Not exactly sure. 
But again, you can see he's good size. You know, accurate size of the movie. Yeah, and as far as, uh, you know, a replica of this guy, you know, the Zuni warrior, I think they, they'd probably do the best, in my opinion. Again, but if you don't, you know, obviously you're not going to be playing with them and messing with them. I wish they'd have made the hole in the base for the bottom of the spear a little deeper. and It would have probably held a little better. But again, awesome piece. Very heavy. Um, you got to be careful if you drop this thing. It is going to break. So. But, yeah. The Zuni Warrior from the 1975 movie Trilogy of Terror. If you haven't seen that movie, definitely check it out. Uh, check out the second one as well, because you, like, you get this guy in that movie too. I think he might look slightly different in the second movie, but not much. So again, Hollywood Collectibles Group, Zuni Warrior from Trilogy of Terror. Awesome, he fits right in with my little shelf of uh, mini, mini creeps, mini creatures and things like that. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Um, hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Later.